So guys, let me show you something that's near and dear to my heart. This is a old school Joker Polka machine. This is from the early 80s. Now this was at a pinball show that I was at a couple of months ago. The guy was selling it. I don't know how much he was selling it for. The reason why I like these machines so much is that back in the early 80s, I used to put these machines together. I used to fix them. I used to, I don't know, you name it, I did it. And I love these machines. I have such fond memories of them. And every time I see them, I'm always taking a video because you really don't see these anymore. Long time ago, you would see these in you know, a bar or a restaurant. Uh, in New York City, we had private clubs. And uh, you know that's where you would see them. You really didn't see them out and about. But I used to be a little kid messing with these machines all the time. And then after these machines, they had a machine called Cherry Master or an 8-Line. Uh, they also had Kino. They had different machines. But it was like a Joker Poker. And then you had a uh, Cherry Master or an 8-Liner. And now, now they have a machine called Broadway, which is the same as this. It's just a little bit different. But I used to love these machines. I always keep saying... That I'm going to see one of these machines, I'm going to buy them, and I'm going to take it to my house. I never do. Now, this machine has something wrong with it. There's something wrong with the board. I'm assuming that it has to be serviced. I would usually, when I did these machines, I would put the buttons in. I put the locks in. Coimex, I would kind of set it up that way. Uh, when things would go wrong with the monitor or the board... You know, we have technicians that used to use it. That's an old Kino machine. We I had those. That's a, a fun game. It's weird. Those would be in bingo halls. Um, back in New York City, I don't know if this is everywhere, churches used to do bingo. You used to have stores, like storefronts, that used to do bingo. You used to say bingo. And they used to have machines like that, those Kino machines for bingo. But these Joker Polka machines I always think are interesting, I guess because it's nostalgia for me. You don't see these machines anymore. Uh, I guess for me, walking into an old school arcade, like an 80s arcade, right? With like, you know, Pac-Man and uh, Asteroids and pinball machines. That gives me a certain type of feeling. These machines give me that same feeling because I kind of grew up with them. And I like them. I, I got to buy one. I know I'm going to buy one. They're not that expensive. And I have a feeling I'm going to sit it in the middle of my living room and just leave it on. That's it. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to buy this and then give it to somebody to refurbish, I guess. Because I'm not sure I have it in me to like mess with the board. If I bought this machine, I would have to send this board out to someone. There's something going on with this board. I don't know if it's an edge connector. I don't know if it's ROM chips. But there's definitely something up. So if I was to buy this, I would have to have somebody look at it. And it, for me, it would be worth it. Other people would be like, why are you buying it for? It's a waste of money. You're throwing money out the window. But I would love it. Now, with these machines, from what I remember, you can only get up to 30 credits, right? You can click 30 credits on. But if you were inside, like I used to click the credits real fast. If I clicked it fast enough, I would get 31 credits. So I don't know if that was some sort of flaw or bug, but... I used to be able to click that thing fast enough where I, got th where I got 31 credits. If you're just doing coins one by one, it would hit 30 credits and wouldn't go beyond 30. At least that's what I remember. Maybe something's changed or it's different, but I'm talking about the early, early 80s. But I figured I'd share it. I love seeing stuff like this. A lot of people, especially young kids, don't know that things like this exist. Imagine if Arcade 1-Up came out with like an old, a three-quarter size old school Joker Poker machine. That would be pretty interesting. Interesting. That would be fun. Now, I do have ROMs. When I mean ROMs, like on my computer, I have, you know, stuff that looks just like this that, you know, I, I downloaded. I don't know if it's the same ROM chip. I figured I'd share it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you know anything about these machines or you like to play them. Now, we're going back. Like I said, I haven't seen these machines since... I would say the 90s. They were big in the 80s, and by the 90s, I didn't see them anymore. Any of the machines that I used to deal with all got trashed, unfortunately. I wish I kept a few. But tell me some of your stories. Did you play these machines? Did you like them? I never thought of playing these as a gambling machine. To me, these were fun. If I put like a dollar or I was just messing around with these machines... It was just the same as if I was playing, you know, a, a Pac-Man. How about that? I know we started to put dollar bill units in them. This doesn't have a dollar bill unit. This is just taking coins. But this machine is a lot of fun for me. It brings back good memories. I like it. Uh, and that's about it. All right. Like, subscribe, and comment. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe. God bless you guys. And I will talk to you guys later.